about the TikTok criminal. Uh, I did want to watch this at one point. Yeah, we can watch the TikTok criminal. I see why it thought he was too famous to be arrested. Put both your hands out the window. I don't know who I am. Yet his 1.4 million followers failed to help anything, as TikTok's dumbest criminal has been in jail for Is almost a full year. Wait, is this the guy that I yeah. think who to he is? To introduce the type of guy he is, I see why it was employed before TikTok. Had a job, I worked at McDonald's. Yet a family member exposed him, stating, he worked there for a week and showed up one day and they were like, why are you here? He found out the previous day he showed up to work, so high on Xanax that he got fired, and he what? didn't remember any of it. <laughs> No way! Thankfully for Wyatt, however, a work ethic wasn't needed for his genre of TikTok content. Simply being a feminine man who was attracted to women. If I had a girlfriend, hair, nails, new bag, because I want to take care of my girl. I'll be so proud to have a girlfriend and I want to be obsessed with her. That was Stay away from me. His very first TikTok, and it gained over 8 million views, fueled Stay by the people hell wondering away from if me. he was actually telling the truth. I see why it fed into this to achieve a repeat audience, with videos as simple as people who don't understand that I can be femme and still like girls, giving him hundreds of thousands of likes. Why it funneled this attention into bingo gambling sponsorships. I am gambling sponsor. Oh. Okay, yeah, here we go. I am the king of gambling. And then scolded the go. audience because they weren't as rich as him. I make $800,000 a month year. You're not even near my tax bracket. Google me, you can see my net worth. Maybe White had an ego as he'd previously what? been in jail. And I've been to jail like multiple times. Which the audience quickly realized he most definitely deserved. Because a user named KD Nail Artistry uploaded a TikTok explaining she was the one who did Wyatt's nails. Okay, he agreed to pay me from the start. I had full clientele, so I did not need promo. And he agreed to pay me from the okay. start at a price of $200 for three different sessions. Well, rather okay. than paying, he wrote me a check from a closed bank account. He also- Yikes. So knew I was in nail school at the time, so not only was Wyatt a total Yikes. scumbag, but it also seemed he wasn't as rich as he preferred. Yikes! Despite this, Wyatt only kept on bragging. Gee, I sure do look like the disappointment of the family, but isn't it funny how I make the most <laughs> money? Sit down. Believing that you'll get right? much further in life by cutting off all the toxic people and. What? Where's he getting the money from? Where's the money coming from? focusing on becoming the main character. Wyatt seemingly went against his own advice and began dating a girl named Moore with whom he started to spend irresponsible amounts of money. Okay, so baby got her Vans. Hey, you know, I had to give me one too. Stop playing with some Vans babies now. Wyatt had his Mercedes wrapped in hot pink while Moore's okay. Mercedes was crashed within a month, introducing everyone to Wyatt's terrible driving history. He Oh, he had to move out of California solely because of driving offenses. The reason what? why I went to Florida was because I couldn't drive here. I had like so many traffic tickets. <laughs> he couldn't drive in California. Okay. California is the issue though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> driving on suspended license, oh DUIs, everything. So I went to Florida and I got my license mm -hmm. and it was perfectly fine. And would upload an old video of his own road rage incident, trying to look tough with the title Don't Play With Me TF. Wyatt was fuck? clearly proud of being a terrible human. And normally I'm not that nice. Normally it doesn't matter who you are. I will be like, shut the f up. I don't want to hear about that. Please stop talking about that. I hate it when people like him make talking the way he does, you know, like in this pretty stereo stereotypical way. I hate it when they make that the entire personality. Like, I'm sorry, but sounding this way is not a personality trait. And at this point, there's more bad actors than good actors that talk in this way, man. Like, there's m way more bad actors that talk in this way. I, it's, at this point, it's really gotten to a stereo stereotypical point where 
I just don't want to hear it anymore. Edgy shouldn't be a personality, yeah. The stero stereotype is flamboyant gay guy. <laughs> Next subject. And nothing solidified this more than a video he accidentally posted. He'd already given the audience a tour of his house, but it was specifically on this house's front walkway that he'd kick his girlfriend out by throwing away all of her possessions. I know some gay people and none of them act this way. Yeah, same. Same, same, same. Like, none of them have the stereo stereotypical way of speaking. Like, what the fuck? Why it claimed the video was posted accidentally and the couple quickly reconciled, but the pink Mercedes right. seen back in the tour was about to be another problem. <clears throat> 25 days after getting the car, he'd post this TikTok looking all oh. bruised and battered, which came with a tweet punched? reading, I'm gonna get some rest and try and recover. My face is in so much pain and the rest of my body. Why it then what gave happened? some context. He claimed that two white hillbillies attacked him unprovoked. I was hate crying in Florida I was attacked by two hate crime for what hate crime for what I, I thought you're straight hate crime for what men my car was stuck between like a chick-fil-a line they backed me in so that they could both come out and come on either side of my car and attack me describe like what they look like, like older men Big, like our age fat hillbilly in like a white pickup truck that's yeah. what they look like and i'm in a pink mercedes with this type of nails yeah and when he called to report the hate crime police beat him further because he didn't take off his seat belt gosh did i do a story time about how i got ripped down my mercedes and my ass beat for trying to take my seatbelt off when they tell me to get out the car White had you were what I think that happened here, man. What I think that happened here is that he was reaching. He was reaching. And you know, police are trigger happy. They are. But if you are like I learned this by being a European and just by watching shit, right? I already learned this. I already learned this, that if you want to do something, you tell the police that you're doing it. You tell them, I'm going to reach for the seatbelt, because to them, it could look like you're reaching for a gun. Yeah, the cops ain't taking the chances. The cops may be a little bit trigger happy, but, you know, gotta, gotta cut them some slack. Gotta cut them some slack, because there are people that will just do that as well. ...filmed his own snippet of the incident. I can't take the seatbelt off. You need to show some respect. ...posting only what made <laughs> him look like a victim, with the caption, okay. Sunrise County Police in Broward County ambushed me in my neighborhood hours okay. after I had called for help in a road rage incident earlier in the day. They didn't send anyone to... I somewhat remember this, like, I remember this going help around. Me, but came to my house hours later and held me at gunpoint. This is not okay. No, no, th yeah, that, that isn't the full story. That isn't the full story. Like, he was lying. Like, if I remember correctly here, he was lying. Just wait, it gets better, yeah. Oh, of course it does. Like, if I remember correctly, he, he was lying and just tried to portray himself in a good light here. Boy. Wyatt was clearly the victim here, right? Well, later that right? day, TMZ posted their own article. Tick <laughs> Didn't he hit someone and ran off or something? Icy Wyatt arrested for battery on police officer, which clarified he was booked on Monday night for two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, one count of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, one count of battery on an officer, and one count of resisting arrest. <laughs> Wyatt's innocence was wow. suddenly in question, yet he continued to claim I was the victim. This was in self-defense, mm -hmm. also adding I didn't batter the police. I was handed my phone, and then another officer ripped it out of my hand, and because I didn't release it right away, he said I assaulted him. On TikTok, White sure. maintained it was all police's fault. The rumors are not true. There will be several news stories coming out soon about what actually happened. The police were in many wrongs. Until the body cam footage was publicly released. To Here nobody's we go. surprise, White wasn't actually hate-crimed. It began with him parked Plus in the not. middle of the street Street, yelling at a random lady, leading the two white hillbillies to stand up for the woman. They politely told White to get back in the car, stop blocking traffic, to which Whoa. White responded by pistol whipping them, throwing a drink on their car, and driving erratically in front of them. There it is. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, the memory's coming back. 
almost hitting a lady with her infant baby as he sped away from the scene. In a Bro, beautiful display yikes. of stupidity, yikes. Wyatt then called police himself reporting, I just pulled over because somebody just tried to kill me in the car. This truck came up and tried to cut me off. So I pulled over mm. to the next lane and again- Imagine trying to fucking lie about this when there's cameras and shit everywhere and literally any human ever has a cam like readily available nowadays he's like trying to swerve imagine. into my lane and tried to hit the car yet this is actually what he'd done to them wyatt then continued lying and then i had four guys jump out of the car and say we're gonna beat the crap out of you and stuff failing to include that he'd pistol whip them after after speaking with these hillbillies police discovered the truth showing up at wyatt's house to arrest him where he'd speak the infamous line y'all don't know who i am <laughs> there it is there it is there it is, there it is, Chad. Why, Tilly? Thanks for the follow. Yeah, there it is. I remember. I he remember. Nobody, claiming his girlfriend was there to confirm his story. Oh, oh my gosh, girlfriend can't be a witness to us. Was she with you? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, we're, we can talk to her when she gets here. More then showed up to tell her side. Yet it was later shown by this frame that Moore wasn't even there at the time. Yeah, of course final not. final defense of having a gun was because he drove a bright pink car who is famous online and gets sure. messed with on the freeways all the time as if it's been a lifelong issue and he didn't just buy the car four weeks before. He added, I have uh. millions of followers. People make this stuff up all the time to which the cop responded. Oh my God. Prompting Wyatt to add, I have 58 million followers. Everybody who's been on TikTok or Instagram this. has it's seen so painful. Who I am. Before spending the night in jail, Wyatt bragged about his jewelry. You know this is some 80,000 on the next impression, right? Being released the following day and posting a celebratory TikTok. You can't get rid of me, bitch. Punch him. Wyatt Punch then called the paparazzi on himself to claim the don't you know who I am phrase was referring to him being the one who called police. I called the police okay. and told them that this whole altercation. Sure. Sure, that's what you meant. Sure, sure, sure. So they pulled up. I said, don't you know who I am? <laughs> don't you know who I am? Bragging about his followers was due to his sure. head injury. I'm not swearing sure. my words. So they slammed my head on the ground. Then I'm like, oh, I have 58 million followers. Which was covered by a brand new tattoo of his girlfriend's name on his face. Despite treating the arrest like Yikes. one massive joke, why it was in serious trouble. So, yeah. Oh my god, chat, did you see that? Oh my god, chat. Chat, look, look at the screen. Uh, the, 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 oh my god, what are they called? What are they called? What are they called? By treating the, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, the cuffs, the cuffs, the cuffs. Oh my god, look, look, look at the cuffs. <laughs> look at, look at. The rest like one massive joke. <laughs> Why it was in serious trouble. Oh, Sonny. So, yeah, I might be facing 20 years in prison because of this <laughs> night. Yet he'd still post TikToks such as this one. All right, y'all. Do y'all think I should get this 2021 Range Rover or should I get a G-Wagon? Leading to many comments mocking him. If I were facing up to 20 years, I don't think looking for a new vehicle would be at the top of my list of things to do. Yeah. Additionally, because Wyatt really. was now awaiting trial. If I got pulled over, I could get the maximum <laughs> sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Leading to a TikTok <laughs> beef with his very own mother. She simply gave Wyatt the most obvious advice ever. She's like, well, you know you're not supposed to be driving. If you get pulled over, you're going to go to jail for 10 years. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, girl, can we talk about this another time? Like, I'm really not trying to hear about this. She's like, okay, well, I'll talk to you about it later. Then I'm like, no, I don't ever want to talk to you about it unless I bring it up because that's something that triggers me. Leading to their relationship completely okay. falling apart. Okay. 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 Your mom is ex- his mom is actually trying to help him, and he's like, no, that triggers me. Ugh, brain rot, brain rot, brain rot, brain rot, brain rot. But they'd publicly argue back and forth about anything and everything, although Wyatt failed to take any of her advice. Because during this period of waiting for his sentence, Wyatt's stepdad proudly announced he got into an altercation and keyed a car while he was out on bail. What? As a result, Wyatt why is he keying a car? Why would you do this? Oh my. Almost 3am, you gotta go by. Goodbye.
signing out. Was rearrested to be jailed until his trial, predicting just beforehand he wouldn't be in for long. I'm looking at probably a month's time in $10,000. However, three months passed without a word about his trial, and his plan to work out every day didn't exactly happen. Because I'm going to just be working out the whole time. As he'd tell his girlfriend via jail phone, he'd gained 40 pounds or 18 kilos. <laughs> in the process, Wyatt was facing other issues. Have you gotten in a fight since you've been in there? I was attacked. As more finds out, Wyatt will be serving at least two years. I know oh, I was being to Lulu, like thinking that this was going to be like quick and easy and that you were going to be home. Just break so, up with him. He's just like very much like hitting me. Break now. up. Despite this, more had Icy get Wyatt tattooed him. on her neck, live here. streaming the session during which she'd get a call. On the phone was a debt collector asking for payments on a mattress. They've got all this money apparently, but can't buy a mattress outright. No way. No way. Brother. Brother. No way. A oh my god. Wyatt's mum then revealed they had payments on their cars, making it obvious no. they financed their whole life and were pretty much broke. Two months ago, there Wyatt vocalised being worried about the cost of a phone call while his 40 pound weight gain has turned into 70. I gained 70 pounds. How much is 7 kilogram? How much is 7 kilogram? Uh, 70 pounds and kilogram. 30 kilograms! <gasps> As a lot Oh my god. Last ditch effort, Wyatt sent the judge a letter stating, I feel absolutely terrible and ashamed for the way I handled things with these people. I'm not the type of person to hurt anyone or vandalize people's property. That just isn't who I am or who I want to be. But the I really hope that he's learning from this now. Judge didn't buy it. I see why it's still yet to be Lamo. convicted, having spent Lamo. 12 months in prison and lost absolutely everything simply because he couldn't hold his anger. Bro. Bro. That's good though. Those are the people that belong in prison. Those are the people that belong in prison. Good. I, I really hope that prison actually teaches them a lesson from it. I really do hope so that he learns his lesson from this man. Oh my god. D this is where those people belong. Is that shoe? 